Welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. I am your host, Board Gamer Girl, and we are about to start the first Italian War scenario of the Revolt of the Beastmasters campaign. This is the final scenario. Prince Niven joins Tarnum to free both the Mudlanders and Arathia from Mad King Griffinheart's brutal reign. It's a medium sized map. We're gonna put this up to impossible. Our enemies go first, and we can choose between 25 Lizard Warriors or 20 Archers. We're going to go with the 25 Lizard Warriors because they're already upgraded and I don't start with any money. And, um, well, Tarnum's going to be doing most of our fighting anyway, so we're going to go with that. I met briefly with Niven when I arrived in this region. He had grown a mustache since I saw him last. Probably an attempt to make himself appear a little older. He was, after all, a young king. Drogler rode next to him, still dressed in his mud-stained leather tunic. A few smudges of dirt and the angry pink scar on his jaw marred his otherwise perfect face. Droglo couldn't grow a mustache if he spent the next three years trying. He would always look young when standing next to his friend. Well, I guess I should call you king now, I said, taking Niven's hand. It's only a title, Tarnum, Niven said. As much as we wanted to continue joking to keep this pleasant moment alive, we had serious work ahead of us. Your father's armies are in the south. Unfortunately, we took heavy losses driving him there and need to rebuild our forces, I said. Niven nodded his understanding. I've taken some losses of my own. When we first arrived, we suffered heavy losses to ambushes from the natives of these swamps. I tried to reason with them, but they would not believe we were allies until Droglo convinced them to stop their attacks, Niven stated. So we're both having trouble. The only good news is your father has lost his support from home. He's alone, except for the thieves and mercenaries he's been hiring. Are you prepared to keep this war going until he's defeated? Absolutely. I have sworn it, King Niven said. Okay, let's take a look at Niven. 12, 13, 6, 6. Expert offense, expert leadership, we knew about that. Expert estates, that's actually not too bad. I think it only gives us like 500 gold. Yeah, 500 gold, so it's not fantastic, but it it's a little something. Territory, blah, 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 blah. Alright, so, all in all, you're not that bad. Tarnum is vastly superior, but, <clears throat> whatever, not that bad. Lots of pike boot. So we got in town here. <sighs> Could be worse. Could definitely, definitely be worse. <sighs> Do you want much crappier? Okay. Oh, but you start with troops. Do you start with troops? No. You start with troops. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Alright, we're going to give Tarnum your Ballista. And basically all of your troops. And you're going to run up here. And give Tarnum all of your gnolls. He'll keep your serpent flies. Tarnum, you're going to come up here. And grab these guys. And these guys. And these guys. Make a little... Small army. Actually, we'll switch you guys around. Perfect. No, I don't wish to pursue them. No, I don't wish to pursue them. No. This is working out better than I expected. Now you guys can just come up here and get this stuff. Please move this cart. Go back. They're gonna get us some gold, because, well, even that will help us. Um. Yes, we will take pikemen for the greater glory. We were also gonna take this 2,000 gold! Holler! God, um. What the hell do I wanna build up first? Uh, honestly, probably this one. Because this is where Tarnum's going to get his troops from, so we're going to go with this place. And now we're dead broke again. Oh, 
You did want to fight me, huh? That's fine. My goodness, I almost completely slaughtered you. Let's see, let's see. We'll just do basically the same thing we did last time, huh? Oh, look at you making a beeline for my people, huh? I'm not going to actually let you get away with killing one No, no, no. No, you're not allowed to kill even one of my guys. Sorry. The hell am I going? Hold on a second. Before I start doing crazy antics. Um... We should probably maybe get some of those mines over there. There's mines over there. That, well, that looks like another town. This looks like another town. Basically, I'm trying to rush them as quickly as possible. Let's take a look, actually, Korback. And see where the towns are. I think I know where they are. Yeah, they start out with two. And I start out with two, but I'm going to get to the ones in the middle first. And that is going to make a lot of difference, hopefully. Here. And you are going to pick up some ore. Did we not visit the one now? No, we didn't. Okay. Serpent fly hive. We'll have to pick that up. And let's get you a town hall as well. Yeah, we need money. Money is just very important to me. What can I say? Did I just not move you last turn? No, I think I did. You're just slow. Lots of archers, huh? You have no spell book. Yes, we will take the archer for the greater glory. That's fantastic. Excellent. I don't really know what to do. Well, I guess this is what we'll do. You'll just have to take these guys on. As much as I hate that idea. We're definitely going after the lots of greater basilisks because we want the gold. Give me the gold. I am ready for the gold. Also ready for you guys to just slowly ease your way towards me. Hey there. Yes, it's true. My 50 guys should do more damage than my ballista. <clears throat> Excellent. Let's get this gold mine. Get all its gold. There you are, my little town. You ready for me? We are going to take the lizard men. Horde of wolf raiders. We're not ready for that, though. Certainly not. We may, however, go for the mystical garden or not, whatever the gnoll's guarding. 
Um, alright. You are going to get a mage guild. You are also going to get a mage guild. Alright, you know what we're going to do? We're, gonna, we're actually going to get you a spell book first, just so that you have something. And then we're not going to do that again, because you are so slow. Go on. Hello, little rogues. Are you ready to die? Because I am certainly ready to kill you. I mean, this is just, well, this is basically just a joke. At least you have a Ford. Oh, look at how you died. Who cares? Just hit something. Oh, and look at that! We have ourselves a new little city! Dude! And this city actually has stuff! It's got like... Well, it doesn't have that much stuff, but it has... it has stuff. <clears throat> Appreciated stuff. Alright, you're getting a blacksmith. Thank god we have enough wood for this nonsense. And you're getting a marketplace. And we're gonna take more gold, because that's how we do. We don't find anything on the corpse. Curious to know what the actual ratio is for that, like how often you're supposed to find stuff. Corbac. That's right, you're getting some serpent flies. And then you're gonna come up here and deal with these gnolls. Ten serpent flies versus what, forty-four gnolls? Technically, 29 gnolls and 15 gnoll marauders, but... Oof, 6 health. Sure. Goodbye! Just say, look at how dead you are. Alright, here we go. Lots of dragonflies. No, we do not wish to engage with them because they are brutal. And we'll take all this extra loot. Oh my god. The fact that you have, like, zero going for you in the terms of, uh, We're back. We're not gonna find enough gold, I don't think. Twelve moles, more wood, wood coming out of all sorts of weird places. Could potentially take on lots of ogre magi, actually. That's definitely not enough. That right there. That is the money spot. Alright, so you can't buy any of those things. And you're basically gonna be useless. So we're gonna buy ourselves. Yep, 
yeah, we're going to be a little skimpy on the money, which is probably not what we should be doing, but it's what we're going to end up doing anyway. <sighs> Today we captured some rogues when they tried to ambush our supply wagons. When we searched them, however, we discovered a note bearing Mad King Griffinheart's royal seal. It's a bounty on the head of his own son, Niven, I said aloud. How much? asked Adamina, who was always at my side these days, perhaps to make sure I didn't make any decisions without the consent of the wise women. Twice as much as he offered for my head, twenty thousand gold. King Niven must have really angered him, Adamina said. Yeah, I said, crumpling the paper, and if I know anything about Griffinheart, he'll do anything to get his way. Turning to the nearest soldier, I said, hurry, get me our fastest runner. Well, that's why Prince Niven is basically just staying where he is. He does not need to be, you know, out and about doing craziness. His job... Curse. Awesome. I'm trying to think if you could have given me something that was more useless. Hello, free basilisk pit. Sure. We're gonna view air really fast and just make sure that we're not like. Ooh, they might get there first. That's okay. We'll get there in a moment. I'd rather have the mine or all the gold. I mean, whatever, we'll just deal with it. We'll just deal with this nonsense. <clears throat> you don't have chain lightning, though, do you? No. It would be awesome if you did. Um, okay, how much life do you guys have? You have 160, yeah? Okay, then. You're gonna die. That's okay, though. Of course, they get to go again. Of course. I see you guys coming for me. Don't think I'm gonna let you get away with that nonsense. Alright, here we go. And there we go. Well, we lost our gnolls, but we got lots of goodies out of it. A keymaster's tent? Really? A pack of behemoths? Alright. Alright. Oh, hello. Hello, mouse. Hello. Okay. City Hall, so that we have more gold. We're gonna get you a citadel. And we're gonna call it a day.
What the hell does a watering hole do? I can't even remember. Oh. Nice. I wonder if I can take on... Well, I can probably take on a few Chaos Hydras. If I slowed them and then beat the bejesus out of them. I'll give it a try, why not? <laughs> uh, I love it. I'm feeling frisky. Alright. Oh, I can't slow them. Interesting. How fast do you guys move? Eight. You move super fast. How much of life do you guys have? 250. Wow, this was stupid. This was very, very stupid. Does that work on any of you? No. I, mean, I didn't think so, but I'd rather give it a shot. Um, sure. <laughs> Could give this a try. That all did? I just did one thing? Are you kidding me? Well, that was not effective at all. Alright, well, um, cool. We're gonna lightning bolt you. That still didn't kill you. My god. Jesus. Um, I'm the hell away. Alright, that's a good spot. Now, So it'll still be 240 if I frost run you guys twice. However, if I frost run you guys twice, it will mean that I can, like, kill you a little more easily. Oh, that's not fair. That is no fair, people. No fair. You're at 250, you're at 130. Oh, wait. No, we'll run back over here because we're uh, we like to cheese like that. Mm, then we're gonna magic arrow you to death. There we go. Whew! So we only lost two people and we <laughs> killed a few Chaos Hydras. I'm not sure if that was really a smart move or not. Pack, pack, packs of boars. Oh, wait. You need to, uh, do air and see what's going on over here. Alright. Seems like they're unsure if they can take on the packs of wild boar. You will not be taking on any packs of wild boar. Because it won't be taking on anything. Alright, you, my fine friend, are getting yourself a town hall. Not a town hall, a castle. What am I talking about? You, who have a city hall. I'm not sure what I want to do with you. Who goes to go? 
We may also get a citadel. I think that's our current plan. Pikeman growth, plus five. Nice. Go Pikeman. Dragonflies flies are so brutal, though. I really, like, don't want to do it. If I had my ballista, I'd feel much better about it. But I don't. Actually, you know what? We will take the Griffin Conservatory. Not the Ernak Conservatory, that's the attack place. That's the Griffin Conservatory over there. Oh my gosh, what the hell is all the way over here? Lots of, uh, ooh, an endless sack of gold. I don't want that. I actually don't want that. Um, okay. You. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> You're gonna go for a castle. We're gonna start building uh, troop places. <coughs> Basically awesome, Elkin. Forgot about how awesome you are. <coughs> oh, I'm not sick or anything. That just was, you know, part of my. You know, my poor nose. Yay! Let's kill some little marauders. Get ourselves some more gold. killing stuff. You are not nearly as effective as I might have hoped. Those three guys, that nonsense? Oof. Yay for your luck. Ooh, a hill fort. Okay, wait. Hold on a second. You air again. We're kind of near it. No, we're not. The town's back up there. Alright, well. You earth. How do we get to this other little town over here? We just go back from there. Alright, might as well do that first. I mean, the gold mine's fabulous and all. But what I really want is to take over this other town. Sure, why not? I'll recruit some pikemen. Now eventually we're going to have to see a ridiculous... Library of Enlightenment. I see. Is there anything guarding you? No, you're just giving me an endless sack of gold? I will take it. Alright, you. You are getting me a capital. We're basically going to sit here and hope that are by ru by rushing the enemy, we will not uh, not need as much of this nonsense. All right. More gold, please. Thank you. Uh, but I'm really nervous that I saw that keymaster's tent, and that that's going to mean that the only way to get through that area is to deal with the keymaster's tent. 
Um, sure, I think we have time. <clears throat> if we're fast and effective. Hello, wild boar people. Really? You didn't hit them? That, I think, makes you an embarrassment. the rest of you. Fantastic. Getting ourselves a mage guild so that uh, we get our spell points back. Yep, that's the plan. Not that we really need the spell points. Um, yeah, anyway, we're going to call it a day here. So thanks everyone for watching. This is Board Gamer Girl saying have a great day. See ya!